This is the Missing Persons Reports, brought to you by Jamaica Chronicles. The Constant Spring Police are seeking the public's assistance to reunite this man with his family. He was found in Cassava Peace, Constant Spring, St. Andrew, on Wednesday, September 20. Reports from the Constant Spring Police are that about 2 p.m., residents saw him in the area and assisted him to the station. He is unable to say his name or where he is from. Anyone with information that can assist the police in reuniting him with his relatives is asked to contact the Constant Spring Police at 876-924-1421, the police 119 emergency number or the nearest police station. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has strongly condemned this morning's gun attack on a director of the Integrity Commission. The employee of the anti-corruption body was shot while in the car park of the agency's offices in New Kingston, in St. Andrew, and his briefcase was reportedly stolen. Holness has described the act of violence as shocking and appalling. In a statement, he said that the government is deeply concerned about this incident and that its thoughts and prayers are with the injured director and their family at this time. The Integrity Commission plays a crucial role in upholding the principles of transparency, accountability, and integrity within our nation. Any act of violence directed at individuals serving in such critical roles is an affront to the values that our democracy stands for, said Holness. The government has full confidence in the law enforcement agency's ability to swiftly investigate this matter and bring those responsible to justice. We urge the public to cooperate with the authorities in their efforts to ensure a thorough and transparent investigation, he added. The prime minister said that violence has no place in the society and that citizens must work together to promote a culture of respect, dialogue, and peaceful resolution of conflicts. Holness said the government remains committed to supporting the work of the Integrity Commission and will take all necessary steps to ensure the safety and security of its staff. In a successful operation on Wednesday, September 20, members of the Black River Police, with support from the operational support team, achieved a significant breakthrough by recovering a stolen car along the Oxford Main Road in St. Elizabeth. The operation resulted in the arrest of three individuals, one of whom was female, all of whom were subsequently taken into custody. The stolen vehicle, a report filed on September 3 from Santa Cruz, had sparked a region-wide search effort. The rapid response and effective collaboration between law enforcement agencies led to the vehicle's recovery in St. Elizabeth. The arrest of the three suspects, whose identities have not yet been disclosed by authorities, represents a significant stride in the ongoing fight against auto theft in Jamaica. The coordinated effort between the Black River Police and the operational support team showcases the dedication of law enforcement personnel to ensuring the safety and security of the community. Details surrounding the operation and the circumstances of the car's recovery have not been made public at this time. However, law enforcement agencies are expected to conduct a thorough investigation to determine the full extent of the criminal activity related to the stolen vehicle. Residents and business owners in the St. Elizabeth area have expressed their gratitude for the swift action taken by law enforcement, which not only resulted in the recovery of the stolen car, but also the detention of the suspects involved. They hope that this operation will serve as a deterrent to potential car thieves and contribute to a safer community overall. As the investigation unfolds, authorities will continue to work diligently to ensure justice is served and to prevent future incidents of auto theft in the region. A suspect was nabbed in the wee hours of Wednesday morning after police in Red Hills, St. Andrew, were alerted by residents about suspicious men in the community. The suspect, who has not been named by the police, has been held in connection with the attempted theft of millions of dollars worth of fiber optic cable. Detective Inspector Colin Berger explains what transpired after 4 a.m. on Wednesday. Early this morning, just minutes after 4, the Rodels police received a tip about suspicious men in the area. Thanks to the quick response of our officers and the vigilant actions of our local citizens, we were successful in foiling a major theft involving millions of dollars worth of cables belonging to one of Jamaica's telecommunications providers. One suspect has been held in connection with this theft. This incident is a perfect illustration of effective community police collaboration. 
It serves as a reminder for the need for vigilance in our respective spaces and the indispensable role citizens play to ensure that potential threats are swiftly managed. We wish to express our sincere appreciation to the whistleblowers for their timely report and commendable community commitment. Our success in maintaining safety and security relies heavily on such partnerships, and we encourage everyone to remain watchful of their surroundings, report suspicious activities, and cooperate with the police. We all have a role to play in keeping our community safe, a safe environment for all to live, work, and thrive can only be achieved through our collective efforts. The Ruddles Police reaffirms its dedication to serve and protect while appreciating your cooperation and vigilance in this shared mission. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is working to have full compliance on our roads as the Manchester Police are ensuring motorists to adhere to the Road Traffic Act. All right, so recently the Manchester Police uh, received a report uh, via our JCF Now program hosted by Inspector Ava Lindo and DSP Dan Bartley that uh, motorists in the Christiana area of Walderstan they were using this thoroughfare almost like it's a racetrack uh, so the police are responding uh, to the concern of residents and we're ensuring that daily uh, presence is maintained in this area to ensure that uh, uh, the speed limit and other road traffic laws are adhered to by road users on this thoroughfare. So this operation will continue until we have full compliance with the road traffic laws. Already we have issued over 15 tickets and we continue the efforts to ensure compliance. Prime Minister Andrew Holness said the war on drugs and guns are two sides of the same coin, and our goal is to save lives not only from drug abuse, but also from gun violence. We must recognize that guns, like drugs, are a destructive force in communities. Jamaica's real interest lies in the control of illegal weapons that support the drug trade. An important part of us tackling the illicit drug trade, cooperative way, in a networked way, is reciprocity. The war on drugs must be reciprocated, complemented, and fought in parallel with the war on guns. The two are who are a flip side of the same coin. So we no longer say the war on drugs. We are now saying it's a war to save lives not just from drugs, the abuse of drugs, but also from the use and abuse of guns. I would like to introduce a consideration to this august body of law enforcers that gun is a drug. Persons who are using drugs for a quick high or quick fix, trying to find happiness in a pill, are just the flip side of young men who are dispossessed trying to find power and respect looking down the barrel of a gun. Many are addicted to it. If we really want to make an impact on the war on drugs, or rather to save lives, we need to play a similar effort on tackling the accessibility, the availability, and the use of illegal weapons. There is no drug trade without a narco army somewhere. Hip hop is still celebrating 50 years of existence and living legend Sean Paul was on hand to celebrate with other music veterans on Saturday night at Madison Square Gardens where he was the only dance hall act billed to headline the show. The 50th anniversary hip hop celebration was put on by Hot 97 and hosted by Mariah Carey. 
The event saw a massive turnout as fans grooved to performances from icons like Mary J. Blige, Wu-Tang Clan, Tyrese Diddy, and Sean Paul. Sean Paul is a Grammy-winning artist with several crossover hits and has spent his career making hits that have been enjoyed by fans across the world and across genres. Fans were treated to a full set from his diverse catalog, including hits like Gimme the Light, his iconic track Temperature, and others. The Jamaican legend also treated fans to a preview of his new single, Summer Hot, which saw them rocking out in their seats.